Hi, today I'll be coding some pie slices and I'll also try to make the demo fit this week's code pen challenge. And if that doesn't work out and it looks ugly and not in harmony with anything, then I'm sorry, but I'm a tech, not an artist. Also, if this is supposed to draw inspiration from comic books, I'm again sorry, but I'm from Eastern Europe. Western pop culture is alien to me. I didn't grow up with comic books. I grew up climbing, you know, furniture, trees, <laughs> the walls of rail bridges, uh, cliffs outside the city because I was in the mountains and of course that wasn't professional or anything I didn't have equipment I didn't even know that was a thing so I guess falling from 20-50 meters would have been death and funeral but I guess you just hang on tighter if you know letting go can be the end of it all so I never fell from a height only from a bar like this one which is why I can say I was dropped on my head and code weird things today the back of my day blocks didn't look so nice and clean they were gray and ugly and sad but i should stop talking and start coding so we're going to start with the number of slices and as you can see it's set to nine for now you can tweak it but it has to be an odd number and i'll explain why when we're going to start working on animation but for now let's create a 2d assembly and in it in a style attribute set this number of slices as a custom property Okay, and within it, we're going to have a loop and within this loop, we're going to generate the pie elements. So let's just uh, copy paste and then we're just going to tweak stuff. So pie, and this is going to be the index set here. And this is it for the structure for now. Let's move on here and put something on the screen. So for our pie elements, uh, we'll be setting a padding, something like five M's and then setting a background and we should have some black, which looks really ugly and we can't even see where one begins and other ends. So let's fix that, border radius 50%. And now we can kind of see uh, a limit between them, but it still looks ugly. So let's do something in terms of layout. And if you've seen my previous videos, then you know I do this a lot. So display grid on the body and on all the elements. Okay, this still doesn't fix any of these problems. Uh, but again, if you've seen my previous videos, then you know I like to stack things by putting them in the same grid cell. So the grid only has one cell and that's at the intersection between the first row and first column and everything is stacked in there. So grid area, first row, first column. So everything is going to just get stacked uh, as it is right now, but still it looks ugly. So let's set place self. Uh, center and of course this only seems to work horizontally but it does work vertically it's just that uh, the body height at this point is given by the height of its contents so let's fix that explicitly set the body height to the viewport height okay and uh, now let's get rid of that scroll bar margin zero okay next step um, on our 2d assembly we're going to set background Let's set it to black. And of course, and that's going to make um, those slices disappear. So let's set their background to white. Uh, next, we're going to create an animation here. So uh, keyframes, let's say move, okay. Um, and we're going to have, actually, first off, uh, we're going to compute a slice angle. And this is going to be one turn over the number of slices. So this makes sense, right? And then we're going to have a rotation for each of them. And um, this rotation is going to be a rotate, <laughs> stating the obvious here, um, I times the slice angle. Okay, so it's going to look something like that. So initially and in the end and also at 50% in the middle uh, we are going to have that transform is just uh, that rotation okay then uh, in the middle between 0 and 50% so that's at 25% it's going to be a bit more complex and we're going to also have a translation so translate 100% now let's set an animation duration here. So let's say something like that. And then we're going to have animation uh, move that animation duration infinite. Okay. So let's say it looks something like that. Um, so to get to that uh, XOR effect, we're going to use 
mix blend mode exclusion and now let me show you why we need to have an odd number so having an odd number that part that is always common between all of them that part is going to be uh, one so white but if the number of items is even then when they all overlap in the middle you see uh, it's not white anymore so if we want to have uh, that uh, white pie in the middle at the start of the animation and at the end of the animation of course then we need an odd number of slices okay so this is one thing and we also want to have a delay uh, something else let's set an ease out here and as I said a delay and this is going to be I over the number of slices n uh, times half the animation duration so something like that so let's see it now okay it's starting to look like something now the next thing that uh, we're going to want is uh, make this uh, pie more like a pie and um, for that we're going to use uh, Houdini to get to that um, pie slice animation so we're going to have property and this is going to be like a progress p and um, syntax is going to be a number initial value a zero okay inherits it doesn't need to so we'll set it to false um, I don't know I suppose that setting it to false if we don't need it to inherit instead of setting it to true may improve performance but I haven't actually tested that I'm just doing it on a hunch you know so yeah let's set it here for the browsers that don't support Houdini so we still get an animation there it won't be the full thing but we still get uh, this animation that you see right here then we're going to compute its complementary this one is going to be 1 minus p okay now this background so let's make this into a gradient and it's not going to be a linear gradient but we don't have autocomplete for conic that's uh, the whole thing okay so we're going to have conic gradient transparent so from white to transparent and of course this is going to start from an angle so the default is starting as you can see from 12 o'clock and we actually want to start not from 12 o'clock let's go back here if you look at the first uh, slice that starts from three o'clock minus half the slice so three o'clock means 90 degrees so that's going to be calc but only if that uh, progress p is one so times on uh, 90 degrees minus half the slice so slice angle okay then we're going to have the slice angle here and of course we're going to add a plus q times one turn yeah if i could type that would be great minus the slice angle and transparent this one's going to be zero percent okay so we kind of get uh, that uh, thing now let's animate this p so we can uh, have that slice animation and unfortunately we're going to need to go back to the structure here because uh, sadly we cannot use uh, css custom properties within the keyframe percentages so uh, yeah so we're going to have style and we're going to have a set of keyframes for each of these elements which is really sad but uh, it's the current state of things and i wish it could be different but it's not so um actually i think we, we're just going to take this and then we're going to tweak it so take it like that and here we're going to have something like that and again um, 
so it's going to look like that and of course this uh, first stop here is going to stay zero then we're going to have 12.5 percent then this is going to be 25 percent plus that half of 25 percent so 37.5 percent and it's going to go up to 100 percent okay and this is not going to be m it's going to be like a slice and we're going to have an index there okay so this is going to be p set to zero and um, here we're going to set the same p to one and of course as i said we need uh, this index in the percentage the keyframe percentage here so we're going to add to this i over n uh, times oh times 50 so half and we don't want a ton of decimals so let's set two fixed okay uh, two fixed let's just keep two decimals and turn this back into a number okay so yeah something like this interpolation there okay so that's what we actually want and of course we're going to replace that 12.5 uh, with this and um, yeah that should be it and now we're going to use it here Oh, we need uh, to also set it as a custom property, right? So, uh, it's going to be S and that index. Okay, so that's going to be our animation name. Animation duration, infinite. Let's see it. Look at it. It's starting to look like something, but we still have those ugly lines. So let's get rid of those. So we want to have a less sharp transition there. So actually here, we're going to subtract one degree. Uh, we're going to have another transparent here and it's going, yeah, it's going to start from nothing. Here we're going to have one degree and uh, we're going to take this volume here and when we have this transparent here we're going to add one degree one degree okay so it's going to look something like this okay it's still really ugly but we're going to fix it um, with a filter here so filter uh, blur two pixels contrast so where they overlap we're going to bump up the contrast uh, six sorry this is unitless okay and now this looks nice and as i said we want uh, it to satisfy this week's code pen challenge so let's do something about that too so um on all div elements and on before pseudo elements we'll be setting this um, grid area, right? We're going to just uh, move it from there, the way here. And uh, on all div elements, uh, we'll be taking this. So again, take it out and put it here. And here we'll be having a before and it's going to take as background that uh, purple thing. Let's set content because otherwise it won't show up. So um, yeah, so that's basically what you get. Where you have black, you get the other uh, color preserved with exclusion. And where you have white, you get the complementary. So uh, it's going to be green. The complementary of purple is going to be green. And I'm not really sure about these colors. 
It looks like a radioactive pie to me, but uh, oh well, it's uh, purple and green and um, it's that uh, animation you've seen there in the beginning. So yeah, I'll just leave it at this. I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you like the work that I've been putting out for nine years now and you want me to be able to do more in the future, please consider supporting it. You can do so by being a cool cat and becoming a patron on Patreon. The link is going to be in the description. Or you can get me something off my Amazon wishlist. Again, the links are going to be in the description. Or you can at least share this to show the world what can be done with CSS these days. Because honestly, I think it's pretty damn cool. In any event, Thanks for watching and until next time, bye.